Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at this, look at this. Hey, hey. Chill out, chill out. Hey, hey. Good Lord. That's it. Look at this. Look at this. Too excited for his own good. Look at this. Send flow diesel cover. Chill out. Look, it's okay. Chill out. Chill out. Look at this. Run. Run. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here with the Sinflow Diesel Pupper. Oh no. Oh man. No class. No class. Anyway, I, I feel like he was waiting to be on camera just so he could do that. That's why we can't have nice things. His dog craps on it. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a couple things I wanted to go over real quick. We're going to get right into this video. Uh, first thing I wanted to go over, uh, actually, we'll start with the oldest truck. How about that? So, with the 97, the PSC box has not been put in yet. Uh, haven't had a chance to talk to Ryan so far this week, but as of last week, it had not been put in. Uh, he's just swamped, and so I told him, you know, take your time. It's not anything against Ryan, there's no issue there. It's just, I told him to take his time. I don't need the truck, I don't daily drive the truck. So to put any kind of real time constraint on him when he's got, you know, customers that need their car the next day or whatever, um, you know, that's unfair, we'll say. So I don't expect anything like that out of him. Always up to something. But anyway, so that's the deal with that. I haven't forgot about you guys. I got a lot of questions. Uh, I think I got one or two comments on it. Um, but I got a ton of text messages from people that I know personally, uh, you know, Hey man, you know, let me know when you get that PSC box put in. I'd really like to know, you know, how that works out for you and all that. So, you know, Dodge steering isn't the best. So anybody that has a Dodge is always wondering what's the next best thing for steering components of any kind. So, uh, definitely haven't forgot about y'all with that. So I will let you guys know as soon as I know something or as soon as I get the truck back. Um, second thing is yes, I shaved my beard. Uh, got a little bit of stubble coming back but I did shave it it has been just so hot okay uh, unbearably hot it's been in the upper 80s lower 90s 75% humidity the feels like temperature for the last like two weeks has been anywhere between 97 and like 102 it's just terrible outside right now as well um, humidity is real high and it's just oof, it's awful but anyway, in case you guys were wondering, uh, just too hot for the beard. Sorry, I just, I'm not that hardcore. Uh, back to the trucks. So second thing with the 06, where's the 06? What happened to it? Did it fall off the face of the planet? No, thankfully it did not. Uh, what happened was I brought it home. I was gonna do a video on the truck. Actually, I had a couple videos in mind, um, but I needed to get the front end aligned which was on my to-do list. But what happened was uh, the drains in the sunroof got plugged, uh, plugged or clogged or broken or something. Um, and so what happened is with all the rain we've been having, it filled my floorboards full of water. And so can't have that, absolutely cannot have that. So I had to take it down to Ryan like next day. So it's in his shop since I really don't have anywhere to store it inside. So it's in his shop. He's gonna get to that when he can and get that straightened out. So that's what happened with the O6. So on to the point of this video, which is the five things that I hate about my 2007 daily driver. So let's get right into it. So for those of you that maybe just subscribed or, or maybe watching one of my videos for the first time, this is my 2007 5.9, uh, 3,500 single wheel, but it is a 3,500. Had a couple people, especially on Instagram. It's a 3,500. Had a couple people DM me on Instagram basically telling me I was wrong, which is always funny when people think they know more about your truck than you do. Uh, but anyway, so this truck has a five inch rough country lift, 
100% over Exergy's 10 millimeter stroker pump, EFI Live, stock turbo on a stock third gen manifold, Air Dog 2 165, 5 inch turbo back with a muffler, SMB cold air intake, and a partridge in a pear tree. So, uh, yeah, and this is what I daily drive. It's got almost 209,000 miles on it. It's a Laramie truck, so it has the leather. Pretty nice truck inside. Uh, very well taken care of. As I mentioned before, the seat bolster is not busted, and neither is the console. But, so right into the five things. So number one, actually, hold on. I uh, gotta make sure my pupper didn't run off. Nope, he's right there. He's just hanging out. Actually, you know what? Hey, come. There it is. Good boy. Gotta keep an eye on him. Okay. So the first thing I hate about this truck is the step bars. Now. It's not that I hate the way the step bars look, because I do not. Actually, I don't mind the way they look, even though I'm not a big fan of step bars. Uh, the main thing I hate about them, as you guys can maybe see right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, see the dirt right here? See how it's caked up right here? Well, that is a very small amount compared to what is usually up here. And this is usually covered in grit and crap, because the 37s throw crap directly onto the step bar now the problem is when you go to reach in the truck for something the grit and the crap from here gets on your shorts and so it doesn't matter what I do if I'm reaching across or getting something out of the door yeah it doesn't matter I always get some kind of crap on my pants uh, which is really annoying you know when me and the wife are going out to dinner and you know i'm wearing nice clothes nice jeans nice shirt whatever and i get out of the truck and i instantly get crap all over me whether it's dry sand or wet sand which is worse you know like because even if it's not dirt it'll still retain some water and so when i get out i have wet marks on the front of my pants which you know is always always a pro move when you're uh, on a date night or anywhere out in public so that is the first thing now, if I had ant research steps or something like that, that would obviously be the better choice because they would tuck up under the truck, but it came with these steps. So for the time being, we're just going to ride it out as annoying as it may be. Second thing, moving on. So the second thing that I hate about this truck is the 37s themselves. And it's not that I necessarily hate the way that they look because I don't and the truck's not that high I mean five inch lift 37s it's pretty high it's higher than most trucks but it's not unbearably high but the problem is as I've mentioned in other videos I hate this I hate that I have to have a bumper spacer which pushes my water shield out or dust shield or inner fender liner whatever you want to call it it pushes this out and leaves this gap which I despise and also caused the rubbing back here which is also no fun and even though these are not really aggressive I'll try to get on the side of the truck so you can see they really don't stick out that far from the side of the truck but yet they still cover the side of the truck I don't know how well you can see that but it's always filthy I mean the dirt goes all the way back to like here and this isn't even aggressive I mean these are 20 by 10s, 37, 12 50s, no spacers or nothing like that. Let me see if I can show it a little better from the front. Yeah, see? Not a crazy amount of stance. What's that, buddy? Not a crazy amount of stance. But yeah, enough to keep everything dirty. And last but not least, also ties into the 37s. The fuel mileage is horrendous with the 37s. Now, I used to do a little more highway driving, so it wasn't as bad. Uh, I would average 14 to 15 miles to the gallon, but lately I've been doing a lot more city, which is awful. Now my fuel mileage is around 12, pretty much stays around 12. And yeah, that just, that sucks. I mean, diesel around here is about 310 a gallon. I'm sure it's probably higher in some places and cheaper in others, 
but 310 a gallon is a lot and so when it's 85 plus dollars to fill this thing up from a quarter tank and you're only getting 12 miles of the gallon yeah it hurts <laughs> it definitely it definitely hurts so that is definitely the second thing that i hate about this truck so moving on to number three which is in fact the doors uh i like the third gen quad cab better than the second gen quad cab obviously because the suicide doors um i like that it has its own individual door and it's not a suicide door but the threshold is just so narrow and i mean especially when you put the seat down you know if you have somebody back here of course it's hitting that box so i can't but i mean when you have somebody back here you just don't have a ton of leg room i mean i'm i'm average height i'm like five eight and so even with a five foot eight driver and a five foot eight passenger in the back seat i mean my knees touch the back of the seat now they don't dig into the back of the seat but they do touch and it's just it's just terrible that the cab the back part of the cab is just so small uh i really wish dodge would have made a crew cab variant in the third gens but the only way to get that extra cab space like instead of the threshold stopping here if it stopped here well then it would be a mega cab which i do like but eh, i probably won't probably won't buy a third gen mega cab i'll probably buy a fortune crew cab if anything on the next truck purchase um and who knows depending on how the fifth gens look it might be a fifth gen but i've seen some pictures lately that i didn't care for too much so we might actually opt for a fourth gen so yeah that's effectively the third thing that i don't like now the fourth thing that i don't like about this truck or as i mentioned i hate about this truck is the fact which is again more of a problem what are you doing what are you doing over here neighbors are doing something he finds interesting uh the fourth the fourth thing that i hate about this truck is that it does not fit in drive throughs and the drive throughs that it does fit in both height and width uh i have to shut the truck off when i get up to order and then usually when i pull around i have to shut the truck off again when i go to talk to the people to give them my money or whatever because they can't hear me for one reason or another both because that five inch turbo back life and because well the engine itself uh makes enough noise and so uh, between the two especially if there's any kind of echo from the exhaust it's just not happening so that's really annoying you know especially oh actually hold on i didn't even realize this since we're over here i don't know how you guys can see that see the sand that builds up right here going back to the step bar thing see all the grit right there that's what i'm talking about so yeah that's and then of course maybe you can see it a little better on this side see all the crap thrown up on the body that's really annoying keeps the truck filthy but anyway back to the drive through thing so the the drive through is really a problem because especially this time of year when it rains constantly it, it really sucks to have to get out of the truck go inside get it come back out you get soaking wet because you know it's not like a little just a little shower i mean it's been like hurricane weather over here in florida and so it's just it's been terrible so it ain't like a little tiny bit of rain it's been effectively all the rain and so it, it really sucks and so i don't appreciate that at all that's definitely the fourth thing i hate and moving on to the last thing the fifth thing that i hate about this truck which again is kind of nitpicking but nonetheless i still hate it i don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it because of the sun but there there is a dent right here and i was here when i bought the truck but man is it an eyesore i don't even know how well you guys are going to be able to see that because the sun right there it looks like what they did is they opened the tailgate maybe had a trailer jack like this one and they opened the tailgate thinking it would clear and it didn't but you know i back my truck in every day when i get home and it just sucks to have to come out here and see oh, got some dogs over there that are upset 
and it just sucks you know you back in the truck every day and i mean this is a nice truck i mean considering the age and mileage and everything but man that drives me crazy every time i back the truck in i get out you know you look back at it because you're you're happy that that's what you get to drive every day and you see that big old dent <laughs> and for any of y'all that, that really know me know that i'm very particular about my trucks and the way they look and especially condition wise and so it's really yeah it really bugs me not to mention this hey watch out not to mention this little guy yeah that sucks too especially knowing that i did it that makes it suck even worse scrape the little pole that i couldn't see i got a buddy of mine does detail and paint correction so he says he can get it out we'll see but we are going to mosey back in the garage because it feels like it's about 150 degrees out here just pouring sweat let's check the old weather app let's see exactly what it says it is 90 degrees with 60 percent humidity so it feels like 98 and let me tell you it feels every bit of 98 degrees that humidity is just awful i mean just it just really like sucks it out of you i mean you just walk outside you just feel like you melt it's horrible i mean i'm literally just sweating for no reason but uh anyway so yeah those are the five things i hate again i know some of it's kind of nitpicking but it's more five things about my truck particular than it is about all third gen dodges or anything like that um so that's kind of it's kind of where i was coming from with that um and uh one last thing before i end this video out i want to thank everybody that subscribed and i appreciate you know, appreciate everybody that watches my videos and follows the channel. Uh, we do have some cool stuff coming up. As soon as we get the project truck back, I mean, I know it's taking forever, guys. I understand. But, you know, again, Ryan is doing me a favor and helping me out. And I'm not pushing him on time because, you know, he's got his own business to run. And so, you know, that, and then plus, you know, getting the money to pay for everything and all that fun stuff. But we do have some cool stuff coming up. I'm gonna try to get another video before the end of this week. It's gonna be awesome. You don't wanna miss that one, I can promise you that. It's gonna be sweet. Cannot tell you what it is, even though I'd really like to, but I cannot tell you what it is. So you definitely wanna make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And if you enjoyed this upload, give it a big thumbs up. Again, you're not gonna to wanna to miss the next video, which will probably be up before the weekend. So don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch y'all on the next one. See ya.